Sweetheart? Hi, Dad. Hi. Are you looking for me? Actually, I came to see Luke. Yeah, I should have thought that. <laughs> well, I tell you what, after you see him, why don't we have dinner? Oh, that'd be great. Where do you want to go? Well, right here. I'll get a table, and uh, as soon as you're through, just come on out. Okay. Great. All right. See you later. Okay. Hi. Hi. It's quite an ordeal today, wasn't it? Yeah. You were very brave. Thanks. You're pretty brave yourself. Thanks. Uh, look, I'm really glad that you stopped here. Because, uh, ever since that ordeal, I've been thinking about something I needed to talk to you about. Uh, what the hell? Laura, I would like you to quit working for the Quartermains. What? What on earth for? Because I don't like what's happening. Because I don't like, uh, neighbors of mine in, involved in pranks that have, you know, rattlesnakes in boxes. If it were just a prank, why would you want me to quit? Thanks for the pickles. Well, because the, the prank is not funny. Because the rattlesnake was defanged. Yes, he was harmless. But Laura, Laura, whoever sent that rattlesnake is not harmless. And I believe, will you look at me? I believe that Alex is involved with some very dangerous people. I don't see it that way at all. All right, how do you see it? I think that someone is trying very hard to give you warnings. Me? Yes, you. Don't play dumb with me, Luke. I mean, first you're beaten up, then your apartment is ransacked. And then I overhear Alexandria say that your life could be in danger. And today, we receive a gift-wrapped rattlesnake. Now, I'd say that that spells trouble. And I'd also say that you're getting in over your head. Okay. Thanks. Excuse me, I have to cook now. And I am cooking, which means over the head or not, I'm still alive and I'm cooking. Because you've been lucky. How long do you expect that luck to hold out? Look, Laura, you're, you're just making too much of this. No, I'm not. I'm not, and you know it. If anyone should quit their job, it's you. You're the one in danger, Luke. Not me. I... I don't understand what you're doing with your life. But I know that if you keep going on this way, you're gonna lose it. All right, thanks. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take that into consideration. Okay. Don't listen to me. No, Laura, no, I won't, Laura. No, I won't listen to you. Because I'm sorry, baby, you don't listen to me. I don't listen to you. I listened to you, Luke Spencer, all summer long. I followed your orders. I was a puppy dog on a leash. I am tired of listening. Now I'm going to talk. I think your hamburgers are burning. I'm cooking here. 